While much of the country is in a deep freeze, it's the dog days of winter in D.C. For man's best friend, the cold and snow was not a problem at all. Look at the dogs playing there. A bunch of dogs out this morning in D.C. enjoying the cold, snowy weather, just like only dogs can out there. A little bit of snow on the ground and much of the country, as we've been talking about, has been in the teens, the single digits for highs, while we've been enjoying some warm weather here in the desert. And that's about to come to an end as we go ahead and look outside. Not too much movement on the trees right now at our studios on the east side. As we see calm conditions and that's going to be a theme as we go into the overnight hours for tonight. Winds will be on the low side of things. And earlier this morning, look at the wonderful red sky. This is from Carol Ween, east of we uh, Wilcox. She took this picture today, and a lot of folks actually sending pictures to icontribute at kgun9.com. If you'd like to share yours, we'd love to see them. That's the email address right there to send them to. This one from David Grinney. A little bit after the sun was up, still got the redness of the clouds perfectly, though, and some saguaros captured by Jennifer Hayes in the Tucson region this morning. Wonderful sunrise. Now we're having a little bit of an issue pinning down the exact number that we'll see in the bucket here. As we see this next system come, these are a suite of models, a couple of them ranging from a quarter of an inch to an inch and a quarter from HPC. This is rainfall through Monday, by the way. So we are going to see some, I will say that, more than likely you'll see some rainfall. It's just how much, I'd say anywhere from a quarter of an inch up to around an inch. And we will see some mountain snowfall Although with this storm upcoming this weekend, it's going to be very high elevation. Temperature 58 degrees right now. Very comfortable in Tucson. 60 in cells, mid 50s all the way through Cochise County. And pretty much everybody is going to remain above freezing for tonight. A nice change there. Thanks to the blanket of cloud cover. And you can just see the moisture streaming up from the southwest, bringing with it some rain showers to LA and San Diego at this hour. And the storm hasn't even made landfall yet. So it's going to be kind of a long duration event and those rain chances will continue through much of the weekend as well. You can see on the water vapor map, lots of moisture above our heads. Anytime you see green, that's indicative of moisture to produce clouds, to produce rainfall, much like we saw early this morning, although this will be heavier looking toward tomorrow. Here's the Desert Storm Tracker radar. We put things into motion. You can see some very slight returns just off to the east of Tucson near the Rincon Mountains and also a couple blips further south closer to our radar site for tonight. I'm going to say just cloud cover, maybe a drop or two of rainfall on the windshield, just a couple sprinkles. 51 degree dew point right now at TIA, humidity at 77 percent, and that also tells us that it's so moist out there, our temperatures are going to have a hard time falling as we go into the overnight. So here we go with future cast. This is three in the morning rolling forward now. Not much to talk about rain wise until we get to the afternoon. Notice the rain filling in. This is five o'clock and you'll really see an explosion of rain as we go into the overnight hours into your early Saturday. Pretty much the entire area has a pretty good chance of seeing that rain activity. So tonight 49 in Sierra Vista, 46 in Wilcox. Cloudy skies for pretty much everybody. Light winds, a very nice night. 48 is our low temperature tonight in Green Valley and here in Tucson and even 50 with very mild temperatures. We'll have the clouds in and out. Winds very light like we saw earlier there. Variable at 5 to 10. We will go into the 70s tomorrow despite the cloud cover. 71 is my forecast. Clouds in and out and of course those showers maybe for the afternoon commute. Not so much for the commute into work. We'll see that system working closer to our area. 69 in Wilcox tomorrow. 68 Sierra Vista. Could get to 70 in Nogales, and you see the temperatures in the typical warmer northwest. Not going to be that much warmer because of additional cloud cover and rain. So a 30% or a, excuse me, a 20% chance of showers early tomorrow. That goes to an 80% chance late. Sticking with us on Saturday, 65 could be kind of a rainy day. Indoor activities would be best. Sunday and Monday, in between systems, still some rain chances. Very low though. We ramp it up again for Tuesday and Wednesday as a secondary system pulls not only rain into the area, but cooler temperatures. A high of just 53 on Tuesday, and we're finally saying goodbye to the rain and hello to the sunshine as we look toward your Thursday. Nine your side at 10. We'll be right back.